What's going on, Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my returning OG subscribers, what's popping, what's good? To my newly subscribed, hey, y'all, thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really, really do appreciate you guys. And to my members only community, my silent partners, my day ones, I love, love, love you guys to the moon and back. You know that. This is always a Scorpio affair, sun, moon, rising, Venus, none node. Anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart, grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your gin, your vodka, your cognac, whatever it takes, Scorpio, for you to tap into these energies like we always do around about this time. Let those ads play for a minute so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you'd like a personal reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box below. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's up. So your first energy out is conclusion. So I feel like a lot of the collective right now is in this place of like, it's not despair, but that's what it feels like to you because... I'm just going to keep it real, Scorpio. I just feel like you're not obedient. This ain't all the Scorpios. And I'm going to tell you something, something too. Um, you know, I'm speaking on that energy with the conclusion, but it's some Scorpios that's going through it in the same place that you're in. The difference between them is they're going to worship God, whether they're in the trenches, in the in the lower of the valleys, or on the mountaintops. And I'm going to tell you something else about this conclusion, guys, to the guys who, to the people who were not obedient, who cannot hear God's voice still. The more obedient you are, because see, the thing that's going on is if you have a prophet or somebody who can hear God's voice and you cannot hear it, but God is putting you in the presence of somebody that can put can 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 initiate a portal. You do what you're supposed to do. You be obedient so that the more that you do that, the more you begin to hear God's voice. Because I don't know about y'all, but when I start tying my money into shit, you get my attention. That's what I told y'all. God deal with me with my finances. And if you are part of my mantle and my collective, I'm sure that's what's going on with you right now. Y'all can't play with this. This is for real, guys. You know, I, 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 I was Scorpio last night looking at different tarot card readers lives and, you know, it's, it's not a bad thing that you go different places, but it's, it's, it's kind of crazy to me for people who want to be fed everywhere and then you wonder why your life everywhere. You can't be fed everywhere. You can't go with the popular opinion when it got to do with your soul. Who am I talking to? Yeah, because see, sometimes you're going to get one of them Orisha princesses or one of them high-ranking people that are already in a ranking where they can speak with authority on it and you ain't going to hear, you ain't going to be, you ain't going to like what you hear. You're not going to like what you hear. Stop being led and fed everywhere, Scorpio. And be obedient. Don't wait till you at your conclusion. See, this is why we've been talking about, we've been talking about this since 2021. It's 2023. I told y'all not too long ago, God said it's time to stop praising. It's time to worship him. Why? Because worship is the direct connection. Now, let me tell you the difference between the two Scorpios that are at their conclusion, but one of them was obedient and the other, not one, we're just using the scenario. Part of y'all was obedient, part of y'all not obedient. Part of y'all going to praise God when y'all in the depths, the lower depths of the valley of death, and y'all going to praise him when y'all at the, at the mountaintops, when y'all at y'all best, when success and flow and abundance is there and great health, right? So the difference between these two sets of Scorpios is this. Depending on whether or not you have a fear, a reverence for God, in your wilderness there will be angels encamped around you. If you fear God. 
If you're at your conclusion and you're not obedient, I don't think you fear God. So let's be real clear. It's time out for games, guys. This is real life shit. Your first energy, Scorpio, is conclusion. I don't care what y'all say about me or what y'all think. I have a direct connection with God. I've always had it. We, all of us do. What I'm trying to tell you is I'm tapped in with mine. I'm going to worship God no matter what. He know that. That ain't because I've been obedient all my life. That ain't because I've been obedient two times though either. So the difference in the wilderness is when you're in the wilderness and you feel God, God's still going to protect you. Your angels are there. See, what people don't like about the wilderness is the wilderness is where you meet God at. Who am I talking to? Yeah, see, y'all don't know him. Now you in the wilderness looking for him. He's not there. Your angels aren't encamped around you. Y'all don't like to listen to instruction either. Sometimes if you can't be obedient, if your will ain't enough, just follow instruction. Like you do when you go on your job and they tell you this is your job detail. Who am I talking to? You might not like the job, but you got to do it the way they tell you to do it or you won't have a job. Amen. Ashe, whatever you want to say. So now you're in your conclusion. It's been two years of a, you know, Scorpio, you got to believe it. Scorpio, you got to have this connection. Y'all, we've been on this journey for two to three years. And I'm just getting to a point where portals are opening. Or the portals that are opening, I recognize that's what they are. See, I've always had a portal, but I thought that was just between me and God. I never thought it was something I can bring somebody else through, too. That's called a gift. Now you're in the wilderness. You get anybody can end up in the wilderness. Let's be clear. Jesus ended up in the wilderness. Everybody going to end up in the wilderness. But, oh, God, if I'm going to end up in the wilderness... Can you also be there? See, God not a fool. He ain't transactional. How many times I told y'all that God tired of being transactional with y'all? He tired of you asking him for something. And if he do it, you go to church. Are you tired that you do whatever it is your religion tell you to do? Or whatever it is, the vow or the oath you made to him that you'll do. You do it for a little while and you stop. But you want the flow to continue. Who, who crazy like that to think that's even how life go? Life don't even go like that. You think God going to be pimped? Now you in the wilderness. Guys, wilderness don't always mean, you know, you need your light bill paid. That ain't wilderness. Wilderness is when you done got that diagnosis. Wilderness is when the sheriff knocking on your door and say you got 24 hours to get out. Wilderness is when you don't know where your children at. Who am I talking to? Wilderness is when you ain't got no job, no finances. You don't know what your next step going to be. That's the wilderness. For some people, they got all the money they need in the bank, but they can't get out the hospital bed. I don't know about y'all, but I'd rather have my health and strength. I'll get me some money. Now y'all in the wilderness looking for God. Looking for these angels. But God said y'all weren't looking for me before now. See, I keep telling you that wilderness, you don't know when it's going to come. It's like a thief in the night. It come quick. Just like this backfired ass witchcraft. It's coming quick. They dropping like flies. My ascended masters telling me they in there. My ascended masters hearing the plot, hearing the cries, hearing the concerns. They say, my ascended masters say they dropping like flies because of you, Scorpio. If they dropping like flies, don't you know it's time for you to be in the wilderness? Why? Because it's time to meet God. Who am I talking to? Who don't get this? You don't have to be 
Jesus, John, Paul, whoever to get this, what I'm saying is simple. God says, seek me while you still can. What else? I want to know God before I get... When I... If I... <laughs> let me tell y'all something. If you can't hear God's voice before you get in the wilderness, you're not going to hear his voice in the wilderness. Trust me. You're going to have way more distractions in the wilderness taught with depression and all kind of other shit. You're not going to hear him. God said you need to be able to hear my voice when you rich and when you poor. When you on your deathbed and when you in your youth. God said stop trying to play games with me. I don't like playing games. God don't like playing games. He's tired of playing games, Scorpio. You too important. You got too much to do. It's too many lives and souls caught up in your one. Who am I talking to? What I just say? Oath. You got conclusion, you got oath. Y'all want to keep playing with it. I just want to I just want to stop right here and say one thing. You can call it a disclaimer, you can call it whatever you want to. If you're not in the wilderness yet, you better start worshiping God. And having a connection, being obedient to his voice. Before you get there. You need to know God's voice before you get to the wilderness. Who am I talking to? What did I just say? Y'all, y'all can say what you want. You can say what you want listening. You got conclusion, oath, and listening. For those of y'all who are already in the wilderness, the ones who were not obedient, the ones who cannot hear God's voice right now, key word right now. See, I don't know, I don't know how many times you've been in this energy. I don't know how many times you've been in this conclusion and in this forest, in this wilderness without God. See, so, but what I'm gonna let you know is depending on where you at, let's say it like that. Cause you might be at your last, you know, I don't know what you, what you, what your oath is with God. Hell, you might not know what your oath is with God, especially if you, if you can't hear his voice. I say a lot right now. It's like a lot of times in my life, I say, I can still hear my grandma's voice and I saying, da, 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 da. That's what God wants. <laughs> I can still hear God's voice, whether I'm rich. I can still I can still hear God's voice in this penthouse. That's weird, huh? And I can still hear God in the projects. See what I'm saying? Because when people carry a mantle, you got to be able to go in the projects. And you got to be able to talk to the rich folks. Who am I talking to? God said this is a business that you asking him for. Yeah, yeah, you want to be an entrepreneur so you can have a lot of money. God said, that ain't why I'm making you an entrepreneur. Moving forward, I'm going to get one more and we're going to get into the tarot. We're going to break this shit down. There you go. Mm, 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 mm. Sometimes I just get chills. I just, I already know what the car is going to say almost. It's, it's like, I can't even make it up, y'all. Look at this. Rise. God say ain't no more jumping off no cliffs. Ain't no more fool cars. God say you been on the cliff. God say rise. That's your get out of jail, get out of wilderness free card. That's what that just was. That rise. God said, I want you to jump off another fucking cliff. Because every time you jump off these cliffs, and I, I make sure you make it to safety, you stop, you stop talking to me. You stop hearing my voice. You stop being obedient. See, if you can't hear God's voice, how can you know what, whether you align still, whether you, you know, going the right way, whether you're doing what you need to do? I ain't talking about discernment and intuition. 
I'm talking about a direct connection with God. Where if they give you a cancer diagnosis and you go back and they give you another one, you still trust God. Who am I talking to? Yeah, that water walking face shit, that shit over with. That's over with. That's done. God said he want more. He expect more. That's been a lot of years ago with that one. God said that's, that's played out like eight tracks and he ain't. God the same period. All the time. Every time. What's on the bottom of the deck? I'm sorry. I was supposed to be done. I just want to keep on. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. Your overall energy in reverse denial. You finna go to. In the wilderness. How many of y'all know you're going to go through every emotion known to man in the wilderness? You're going to feel like you're left by yourself. You're going to feel like now you feel like God don't love you. As long as you wasn't fired and had your job, you ain't care whether God loves you. You might say, God, thank you and keep on going. God, forgive me. Keep on going. Like two seconds, five minutes on your knees. You can't wait to get up to go do what you're doing. God fed up. God say he ain't going to be pimped no more. Somebody got to get out of wilderness free card just then. A portal was just open for somebody right then. And I ain't finna tell you to cash out nothing no more. I'm done with it. Denial in reverse. <laughs> oh, you woke now, ain't you? You hear me now, don't you? For those of y'all who gave and didn't believe it's the same. Don't cash out me shit. When I tell you a portal open and you're, you're not going to believe God for what I'm telling you is going on, don't send it. Don't send it. Don't send it. Don't send it. Keep it. Because that ain't going to do you no good anyway. Yeah, you're in the wilderness now. <laughs> now you're seeking him with all you got. Now you're seeking his face. You just want to see him now. Who am I talking to? You're seeking his face now. You don't even want to talk to him. You just want to know he's there. You're in a dark place, Scorpio. You just want to see his face. <laughs> now you're looking for him. You can't find him. You're looking for him now. You looking for him now. You done got the diagnosis. Now you looking for him. You should have been looking for him before you got the diagnosis. You should have been looking for him when a prophet told you to cash out four dollars and forty four cents, and you thought you was doing me a favor, baby. I work work every day, and when God opened the portal for me, I'm telling you, if y'all, when God opened the portal for me, I show out. I show out for God. I don't care who. I don't care who I show out for. I show up. I might show up for Chris's birthday and my cheering up, but I shows out for God. Period. Because he show out for me every single time. I don't care if I'm the, in the lowest of the lows or the mediums or the highs or wherever I'm at. I'm conscious of him. I don't have to seek his voice. I hear his. I hear. I don't have to seek his face. I hear his voice. I feel him. That's unconditional love. Moving forward. On this oath, you got the main female. So this definitely <laughs> divine feminine energy I'm, I'm talking to right now. With this oath. That's who I'm talking to. See, when you're in the wilderness... <laughs> It don't matter what, whether you're the main female, the, uh, the mature woman right here, it don't matter. You know why? Because the only thing that matters to you now is God. <laughs> Source. That's the only thing you're concerned with. Guess what? Your life's still crumbling. It's still crumbling. Why are you looking for God? God said, why weren't you looking for me before it was crumbling? When it was easier. 
When I just gave you a portal. When I just said, go just walk through this. I know you can't, I know when you get in the wilderness, you're going to be fucked up. So send this phone out or, 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 or do whatever you, whatever you was led to do to get through that. Y'all don't, y'all, y'all got to understand, man. This for real. Y'all too caught up in the other stuff. On listening, we got the mature female now. Why? The mature woman, I'm sorry. That mature woman to me, see the main female on the oath. <laughs> and then you got the mature woman on the listening. See, that let me know, just like I said when I started this. This for the this for both of y'all in the wilderness. Every, both groups in the wilderness. But this is what I'm talking about. Thank you, source. See, when you made an oath to God. That you knew you was not going to keep. You didn't expect the wilderness to come in the morning. See, I keep telling y'all we don't know when it's going to happen. I know when it's going to happen to our enemies because he's sitting here telling us in his car it's being expedited. How many of y'all know sometimes when God expediting karma on your enemies, you he have to hide you in the wilderness. He have to put you in such a place where you ain't in the same house you was at before this shit started. Well, you're not on this job before this person get fired and come back in there and shoot up every fucking body. You don't know what God's saving you and keeping you from. But see, if you are if you're a mature woman, you can come to work that day and ain't shit gonna happen. Then you he'll shoot everybody in that bitch but you. Are you being in that back be the reason why he don't even come in there and shoot up? Who am I talking to? That's how anointed you is. That's what your mantle is. Stop listening to people. They don't even know a goddamn thing about they self. And when you in the wilderness, you don't call nobody. Can't nobody hear you either. That's how God set it up. Because for some of y'all, y'all can't understand nothing but things that are of the 3D. So God let you experience it that way too in the wilderness. Rise, you got bad health. Who am I talking to? That's on rise. <laughs> Some of y'all gonna rise. Some of y'all ain't. Oh, now I got the I got the judge and I got the jury because I'm telling you now what source saying. But if I was telling you source was saying, Boo Boo coming back, he want another chance. Y'all be tipping my channel then. When people give y'all these life for real messages, y'all don't want to receive them. Y'all don't want to hear them. Y'all like the whole hop from channel to channel and get your messages. And go ahead. That's fine. Mature man is here. So I guess you know the person who went in the wilderness with God. They they paired up with the with who they supposed to be paired up with. The overall energy is the mature man, the number five change. I can read that as God meeting them in the wilderness and them being able to hear God's voice. Or I can read this as just somebody who going through who's in the wilderness that got a mature man that's somewhere praying for them. Their spouse. Their partner. Because like I keep telling y'all, we're gonna go through the wilderness. That's no question. Ain't nowhere in the Bible, Quran, or nowhere where it tell you God blessings don't come with famine. Moving forward, let's get into this tarot. Now you're in the wilderness. <laughs> you couldn't hear God's voice before you went in the wilderness. So now you ain't even you ain't even seeking instruction no more. You seeking his face. You've accepted your fate. You made it through all this fucking witchcraft and people trying to run you, overshoot you, poison you, and you get in the wilderness. And see what God is saying is see you don't even know what he kept you from. See this mature woman, she don't know what God kept her, kept her from, but all she knows is she knows a lot of stuff he could have kept her from. And for that, she's forever grateful. I'm forever grateful, God. Thank you, Father. I worship him. 
and I praise it. Why is the conclusion here with expectation? Somebody expecting for God to rescue you. He might this time, but this time he might not. That's what I just heard. See, it's a gamble. That's why the fool card talks about a risk. Faith to me is, is it's a gamble. Especially if you're going to. If you're going to use it without the other half, the faith without the work. So, uh, you know, however you imagine faith to be is what I'm getting. Because I feel like somebody got this warped energy or, or warped thought process about how God works. And I feel like that's, it's kind of ignorant and it's kind of like, I know it's insulting to God because God been the same your whole life, before your life. The Knight of Swords. Now you're anxious. Now you want to speed through this wilderness. God said, no, nah, some people take 40 days. Some people take 40 years. Some people just die in the wilderness. Who am I talking to? That's prophetic word. The Ten of Wands. What I say? Somebody, this is clarifying conclusion and expectation. Some people thinking they're going to get through this quick. You're not. You're not. Even, even, even if you hear God's voice, you're not. For, for the mature woman, your, 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 your purpose is so huge and so phenomenal, so big, got so many other souls attached to it that God said, you know what? I might need to keep you here a little bit more too because I got a different frequency. I got a different voice. I got a different face for different levels. Who am I talking to? Ten of Wands with the Knight of Swords. You think you're going to... You know, <laughs> you just gonna you just gonna speed right through this one and get another opportunity to ignore God again until you in a bad place. God said this is the worst place you'll ever be in your life again. It's up. I keep telling y'all, it's up. The eight of swords. You can't even think straight. How many of y'all know that's why, it's, that's why it's good to have people around you that have sound counsel, good counsel? In other words, not, not so much an old head, but somebody who got wisdom. You know, it ain't good all the time to consume, you know, foolishness. That's why you have to separate yourself from other people and places and things, Scorpio. I've been saying this. It's gonna be a part two to this, guys, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it on the membership side. I'm not gonna release it. This message is too powerful. I'm still on the first card. I got four more cards to go, so I'm not gonna rush this because this message is for somebody who in the wilderness and they don't understand what's going on. This mature woman, she know what's going on. She been in the wilderness before. She just hadn't been in these depths. This thick. She hadn't been this thick. Off in the forest. See. The eight of swords. The ten of wands. The knight of swords. All you want is relief. You want relief now. <laughs> I know. I've been there. I learned my lesson though. <laughs> I learned my lesson. Because you know what? That wilderness. For one thing. The wilderness ain't no joke. But I don't care what I go through in life. If I go through it with God, I know I'm going to be okay on the other side. I know I'm coming out on the other side better in purpose. Whether I don't make it or whatever. I know as long as God is there making this decision. As long as he with me. As long as I hear his voice. As long as I fear him. See the mature woman, she fear God. She reverence God. This main female, you don't reverence God enough. You ain't been through enough. You play too many games. Now your purpose done caught up with your games. Who am I talking to? Your purpose done caught up with your games. Ask me how I know. Because if the magician coming out, this God saying you had everything you need for you went in the wilderness. And if God let you out in the wilderness, you're going to still have everything you had when you went in. But what you better have when you come out of there... Is a worship and a praise out your mouth. Honey, let me tell you something. That every demon in hell shake. 
that every demon in hell shake. Now I want to clarify this 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 main female in the old because see, God is real, 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 real. He's a real stickler about covenants, covens and not covenants, communion and you know connections and what's that word I'm looking for? Yeah, covenants. I said it right. Covenants. <laughs> he real big on that. Oh, that's that's about the equivalent thing. So. This main female made an oath to God, probably about her husband or her children or God, if you do this for me, if you, you know, uh, heal me of this sickness or heal my child or whatever this is, I'm going to make sure, I, you know, I have a, a, a better connection with you. I'll make sure I'm obedient. Yeah. But you didn't. What's the messages for the main female? Give me, give me, tell me what's going to happen to the main female in the wilderness. The ace of wands coming out in reverse. You're going to be there a minute. That ace of wands in reverse is giving me like somebody just crying out to God, crying out to God, crying out to God for relief. Somebody want quick relief. You're not going to get it. You have plenty of time. You have plenty of time. You have plenty of time. And y'all, this ain't revelation. Don't be on my page telling me no shit about I'm no uh, judge, jury, none of this shit. I'm telling you what does say the Lord. If you don't want to hear it, click off. The ace of wands in reverse on oath and main female, like I said. They're crying out to God. They're seeking God's face and they can't find it. The five of swords. Clarifying the Ace of Wands. So that Eight of Swords and went to the Five of Swords. So now you just, now you realize you ain't, um, now you realize that you're in a, you, 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 you done made this shit happen to yourself. You, you realize, and see what that Eight of Swords to me is, Somebody who trying to throw a rock and hide their hands. Somebody trying to act like, you know, like for instance, um, let's say for instance, your, your light's off. But your light's ain't off because you ain't had the money to pay your light bill. You did something else with your light bill. Now you're calling all around town and asking people for money to get your lights back on. They not giving it to you or they don't have it to give to you or God don't want them to give it to you because you did what you wanted to do. And this is your consequence. You understand what I'm trying to say? Now you hating on them people because you done gave them before. Sometimes God closed people's hands up to you so you can realize who you really are. Because we forget in those, 